Today we're taking a look at the very first ever Ledger NFT project. Welcome back to LimeTube and if you enjoy my videos please leave a like, comment and subscribe. It's free to do so and it helps me massively. For those of you who do not know what Ledger is or what they're about, they are the secure gateway to all your crypto needs. Essentially what they do is they provide hard wallets where you can store all your crypto and also all your NFTs and to release your NFTs or sell your NFTs you will have to sign a transaction on this hard wallet before your NFT can be released. The retail price for one of these hardware wallets is £136 for the Nano X and for the Nano S Plus is £69. So the Nano S Plus has less functionality and you can store less crypto on this. Um, that's why it's cheaper. Moving on to their NFT, they have released a market pass and it is the Genesis Edition. There is 10,000 of these available. Currently there is 7.8,000 unique owners and current volume traded is 2,700 Ethereum and the floor price is 0.46 Ethereum with a starting NFT price of 0.3 Ethereum. These NFTs were minted a few days ago and the price has fluctuated a fair bit since then. But what is this market pass all about? Let's head over to their website to find out more. So Ledger Market is the most secure platform for artists and brands to release their NFTs. We look forward to welcoming you to our curated distribution channel that will be the safest place to buy NFTs. While everyone is welcome, Ledger customers will be able to securely connect through Ledger Live and clear sign their transactions for first access to exclusive collaborations and Ledger hardware software and services become a Ledger Market Pass holder. So with this pass, you'll be able to get exclusive collaborations and Ledger hardware, software and services before anyone else. Looking into some of their future collabs, the first collaboration on Ledger Market will be from the best known artists and brands from music, fashion, digital art, sports, web free and culture at large. So one of these is Artifact. It is at the forefront of digital fashion acquired by Nike in 2021. Artifact uses the latest in-game engines, NFT blockchain authentication and augmented reality combined with manufacturing expertise to create one-of-a-kind sneakers and digital artifacts. So one of their first collaborations will be with Artifact and Artifact is a solid NFT project. And the fact that Nike acquired them shows how much belief there is in that project. Another collaboration is with Tag Her. Since 1860, Tag Her has embodied avant garde precision and bold style that have marked the world history of the watch industry. In 2015, they introduced the first Swiss luxury smartwatch, the Tag Her Connected Watch. And I don't know if they've released any NFTs as of yet, but it looks like if they're planning to, that having one of these ledger market passes will give you first access to one of their nfts another company is brick so after touring with trash talk for more than 10 years musicians lee spielman and garrett stevenson drew inspiration from legendary diy venues of the past to conceive of brick a music venue by night and a community run creative space by day it will have the ability to host any event from live shows to music lessons with some of the best artists in the world to screen printing workshops to financial literacy and crypto security classes brought to you by Ledger. Brick will serve as an artistic and educational hub for the community. So it sounds like another cool project. I'm not familiar with Brick. I don't know if it's been released yet or if it's something that will be released alongside with this Ledger market. And one that everyone does know is Deadfellas. Deadfellas is a pop culture brand that launched its first NFT collection in August of last year, featuring 10,000 zombie themed characters. In April of 2022, Deadfellas signed with the global talent, entertainment and sports company United Talent Agency to expand into brand partnerships, merchandising, gaming and other areas. And it looks like Ledger is partnering with them. That's such a great announcement because Deadfellas is a great community. They're also collaborating with Jen Stark. Jen Stark's art is driven by her interest in conceptualising visual systems to simulate plant growth, evolution, infinity, fractals, mimetic topographies and sacred geometries. In December 2021, Stark's Art Block's curated project was released, drawing upon the aesthetics practice of her signature paper sculptures. So the real perks of the Genesis Pass are as follows. 
you get a limited edition black on black Nano X, which a normal edition Nano X is £136. So the limited edition will be worth a little more than that. You'd also get preferred access to Ledger market collaborations, privilege access to the new Ledger hardware. So you'll be one of the first to get the latest hardware from Ledger. You'll also get airdrops of art NFTs from Ledger Artists in Residence program. So sounds like not only do you have priority access to some NFTs, you will actually be getting airdrops, some of them completely for free. And there will be more to come. So this black on black Ledger Nano X is one that looks like this. I don't think I've seen one where it's just all black and it does look pretty awesome. If you don't have a Ledger already, I would highly recommend you purchasing one. Whether you purchase this NFT or a Ledger in general, it is probably the best way to keep your NFTs secure as possible and also your crypto. In fact, most people have a couple of these to separate their assets out across multiple wallets. So based off of the information and the current floor price being at 0.46 Ethereum, I reckon this can go a lot higher once they start announcing more and more collaborations and when they start offering allow lists and prioritise access to the holders, then this will start picking up a lot more volume. The Ledger Nano X Limited Edition has not been claimed yet. They have not started processing that. So until they start delivering the Nano Xs, that will be included in this floor price. One thing this market pass reminds me of is similar to the pre-mint collector's pass. This originally started at 0.3 Ethereum for mint, so similar pricing, and it is currently at 0.8 Ethereum. Similarly to the Ledger market pass, the pre-mint collector pass offers access to holders to NFT projects that are upcoming, and it gives them prioritized allow list spots as well. So if we take a look at what they've achieved and increase the price by half at Ethereum, the Ledger market should be capable of doing something similar. So the collector's pass for premium where it slightly differs it allows you to track which nfts you have entered on premium and seeing what you qualify for there'll also be beta access to their public collectors features so similar to ledger's early access to their hardware and anything else they bring out there's also a newsletter and private calendar feed and you're also guaranteed access to their 2024 collector's pass so although they're not exactly the same project uh, they have a lot of similarities involved. With Ledger, they are great with crypto security and now they're exploring the NFT market space. And I think it's a great selling point for them to bring out an NFT with a free Ledger. If anything, it's making more people aware of getting into a cold storage wallet, so a hardware wallet rather than a hot wallet such as MetaMask because it is a lot safer having a cold wallet it doesn't remove all risks completely, but it definitely goes a long way to securing your NFTs and crypto. Let me know your thoughts of Ledger Market Pass Genesis Edition in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.